been incarcerated for almost half the year over a gun that the DAs lied and said I shot. In 2021, they demanded I take a DNA test. I took that test with no pushback, delay, or question. Not only because I knew I never shot the gun, but mainly because I was 100% positive I never even touched this gun. In my trial, the verdict of guilty or innocent depended heavily on my DNA results. With the help of LA Crime Lab's DNA expert Randy Zapata, DA Kathy Tarr and Alex Bott completely manipulated my DNA results and lied to the world, the media, and most importantly, my jury by stating my DNA on the gun was inconclusive. That was an absolute lie. They went on further to say inconclusive means that he cannot be excluded from the gun. My new attorney, Jose Baez, hired one of the best DNA experts in the nation to carefully analyze the same DNA test the fair and correct way. The results came back exactly as I knew this whole time. My DNA is 100% excluded and 100% eliminated from the gun. In other words, it's physically and scientifically impossible for me to ever have touched or shot this gun. After the correct and careful analyzation of my DNA testing, not only did our expert find my DNA 100% excluded and non-existent on the gun, but what's worse was the invalid and illegal tactics the prosecution chose to attain the results used to convict me. Based on the fundamentals of my DNA test, the only possible way for the LA crime lab to come up with an inconclusive result would literally be to stop the testing before it finished or completed its final result, which would have and should have shown completely my full exclusion on the weapon. In other words, District Attorneys Kathy Tarr and Alex Bott lied to my jury with false, incorrect, and incomplete DNA results, violating my due process and my 14th Amendment rights. My faith, my prayers, and my highest hopes go to the Honorable Judge Hereford that on May 8th, he rules in favor of the United States Supreme Court law, returning me to my freedom, my family, and most importantly, the justice of a fair trial.